Welcome back for day three. Mm-hmm. Day three of the streak. The streak yes. carries on. Can it continue? Can it continue? I think it can. I'm feeling emboldened. Mm-hmm. The titans of tasting have convened mm-hmm. once again. The and, Trial um, of Drams from Drinks by the Dram in our advent calendar for 2020. Yes, indeed. If you have been paying mm-hmm. attention, you'll know that the first one was a Colilo. The second one was a Wolfburn, mm-hmm. and we got them exactly yes. right because we're amazing. So, mm-hmm. um, Dave, uh, the struggle now falls to you as you have to um, watch been uh, thus far the hardest bit of the exercise, mm. getting the bloody things out of the box. Uh, but we have the tool now, so it's okay. As always, a fortified little cardboard admin calendar. Yeah, it is it is built to travel, oh. that's for sure. I feel yeah. like I could um, drop this, throw this, use it as a weapon. Um, <laughs> it would be all fine, but no so it's going in there. Two for two on good guesses and also on single malts in this yeah. calendar. We know there are going to be blends, there are going to be single grains even. So we'll have to see if that continues into the third day or if things start to go on a different course for the calendar and for our guessing game. Yeah, I, I can't really, I don't I don't know whether I, I want to blend now because that mm-hmm. might be a bit easier or I want the um, single malts to keep coming at us because we've had such good luck with them. But, um, we will have to see. Right, so Dave, making headway. Yes. So Seal it from it's my view. Up. There we are. Get through the mighty wax seal. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've, I found that tool to be of questionable effect against right. that, but um, at some point you've just got to get the thumbnail in there yeah. and go to work. I lack meaningful fingernail content, so... Uh, oh, oh no, he's got it. Go. Got it. Okay, maybe there was an easier way to do this all along, yeah. and we don't actually need to strip the wax off. Just weaken the wax with a good slice, and, go. and then twist hard. Okay. okay, so what can we tell already? It looks... Ooh, it's pale again. Mm. Mm. And that actually, that helped us last time because it was the sort of pale that you don't get from mainstream whiskey because they're not brave enough to give it to you. Oh, okay. Secure it under the Christmas hat of mystery to be revealed once we have mm. cemented mm-hmm. our guesses. All right, what have we got? First brush. Ooh. Mm. Gentle. Yeah. It was gentle last time though, and that proved to be a rather fiery well, young wolf It was it was gentle, but I, I could I saw the forty six coming. Mm. Um, Here though we have true gentility. Yeah, this in is, that there's no harsh alcohol burn. There's I this no, this is a hmm. if this isn't a forty percent, then I'm officially yeah. confused. That's a rich colour for something of this lighter nose, so I'm thinking uh, that is to me signaling something that's possibly Coloured, and so quite likely to be yeah. a grain whiskey. Well, it's or at least a blend, sorry. Yeah, I don't think we're, based grain. on the nose, I, don't, I think we can rule out no. grain. Um, we'll have to taste it to be sure. Oh, this yeah. could be, this is so gentle, it could be mm. a blend, or it could be... There's nothing really standing out, which... Well, I many. think I think we're dealing with... Hmm. There's darker wood here, oh, but I'm okay. not sure it's sherry. I'm not going to, I'm not going to mm. taint your... Um, I'm not going to take your process with my guess yet because yeah. I think it could lead you down a path that may be horribly wrong <laughs> um, and I wouldn't want to do that to both of us. Mm. I'm already compromised because yeah. I've thought it internally. <laughs> but I'm, I'm so easily swayed by first impressions. But I think, all I'll say is I think there is um, non-bourbon wood here and I know, okay. but it may not be sherry. Ooh, interesting. All right, so because yeah, I'm getting dark, slightly chocolatey, Slightly, I'll there say, is rummy a chocolate and yeah, coming out of this mm. wood. There is a good amount of bourbon, I think, but oh, that mm. is light and it is sweet. There's a bit of a prickle there on the finish, right on the tip that's... of the tongue. It's gone fizzy and, yeah. and sherbet like. I would say I can no longer be 100% confident that that's mm. 40, that might be 43. I'm certain it's not any, any warmer than that, but. Hmm. I don't think this is a blend. I mm. think the concentration of flavour is too high. Wow, okay. I think my my pick is a malt for this one. I'm getting oh I'm getting oranges, getting a good amount of citrus, not the sharp bitter lemony citrus though. Mm. This is more mellowed, some candy peel, there's Mm, what else you got? You got any, what, are, what impression? What's leaping out? I'm of getting a bit of rum and raisin. Mm. Um, I'm getting more sort of dried, dried, uh-huh. sweeter fruit. Um, a little bit of peel, but the peel is quite candied. I'm not getting a lot of fresh, like mm. fresh citrus. I'm not getting so much. And like I say, I've already tainted myself mm. because much when you think of something early, it goes and destroys all of mm. your um, empirical reasoning. For the rest of your 
for the rest of so uh, if you want to drum us out a few other sort of um, mm. uh, illuminations on this one then I'll go oh, I'll go in I'll go in with what I've got it's so light and easy going and I'm reluctant to add water but I need to mm. to see what happens to the flavor I feel it'd be so easy to destroy this by watering it so I'm gonna be extremely conservative in my pour and uh, try to try to glean more oh shit Oh. <laughs> I have now messed up. Mm. This was the point where Tim messed up, but never mind. The nose has not changed substantially. It's still that delicate hint of alcohol, some hint of rummy, raisiny fruitiness. Mm. Mm. Okay, I have now well and truly over-egged mine with water, but um, that's not to say you can't get anything out of that. Some of the flavours can only be revealed mm. with a great, a great quantity of water. Yeah, I've been more restrained here. And what it's done has kind of... Uh, centrifuged out some of those key flavour elements we've been mm. talking about before and refined them. It's spun it out and teased out those into more discernible threads if this uh, mixed metaphor here any more mixed. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna lay it on you. I'm going to I'm going to take the reasoning with the, yeah. the with the guest that's been tainting mine all along. <laughs> I think this is Balvenny. I think this is the fourteen year old rum cask. Wow, okay. Yeah that is a um yeah, the rum cask will add that, obviously, that rummy tone to it. And there aren't a lot of rum cask whiskies out there. And we know that Drinks by the Dram Calendar is specialised in whiskies which are interesting and available. There's another rum, not, there is another rum cask, oh, and it's yeah. by the same, by the same honcho. Gotcha. It's the Glenfiddich 25 mm. rum cask finish. Ah, okay. They are not putting 25 year old no, whiskey in that this. Would, uh, well, maybe for the last one, maybe for number 12. But going with the, again, the depressing meta pick, yeah. I don't think that's the... That would yeah. blow out the cost of this otherwise accessible and yeah. affordable calendar Actually, to an here's exorbitant a, degree. Here's a, here's a, here's a meta, meta, oh. meta hat. Because of legal reasons, mm. they've given us the overall percentage huh. ABV. So, 41.6. Yeah, if you were to tap right. all of this together, it's 41.6 <laughs> ABV, which means, which mm. means there is a preponderance of above... 40%, 40%, which yeah. means, I guess that tells us nothing because it means it's probably <laughs> mostly singles and not mm. men's, but it does mean we can kind of, we can kind of rule out some, mm. some stuff. But anyway, so that, there you have it. That's, that's my potentially poisonous mm. pick from that one. I think it's the Balvenie. I think it's the rum right. finish. Hmm. Well. Have you got a, have you got a counter pick mm. for me? Can you steer me in a different direction? Because I, I feel I'm, other, I am really yeah. at sea on this one. I can't <laughs> think of anything else. I think of other rum finishes that I've tried, and some of them just aren't that available anymore, or would be exorbitantly expensive, mm. but it'd be outside the ambit of this particular calendar. So, yeah, that's, I think, a as solid a yes as any of a Belvini 14 okay, rum finish. Belvini 14 I, I, on top of my head, I can't remember if we tried it on this show or not. I, I think we, know, we have. But We've tried it many. Um, yeah. I don't remember it. No. Extremely, but I, mm. yeah. Okay, my heart is actually racing now. This oh, right. is, if this one is, if the streak goes to three, mm. then this is going to be one unprecedented and two. And it is. <gasps> oh, this is tea. Oh, no. Small batch Irish whiskey. All right, the streak is dead. Yes. <laughs> we have left Scotland yeah, we've entirely. Left oh, they did this. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> we've misread the back. All right, well, oh. the bets are off now. It doesn't even have to be. Scotch whiskey. Sorry, can I have a box? Oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm sure they promised us oh, those Scotland only. Buggers. Small <laughs> tealing. Yeah. Well, that's that's me completely mm. befuddled in that case. Um, well, they'll teach oh, us some preconceptions. Oh Good. well. Okay. Uh, well, then we have to um, we have to adjust our crosshairs to include. Um, oh, around the world, of course. Oh, Goodness. No. Yes, all right. <laughs> all right. This this game just got a whole lot harder. Oh, yeah. It's around the world. Holy crap. <laughs> um, Mm. Oh boy! All right. Well, well, we we got lucky on those mm. first two then. Yeah, Teeling didn't see that one coming. Oh, that is it. Um, that is tasty though. I mean, but it's yeah, got the delicacy I've come to expect from Irish whiskey, but it's got a complexity well, as well, which is beguiling and frankly tempting. I forget if we've tried any Teeling before. We've done a few Irish whiskeys. We've not tried. Sure about... We tried a real bog standard Teeling, oh, and okay. it was a bit like mm. Mm. like a lot of Irish whiskeys. It's a bit like mm. right. it's just not there's, there's not a lot of character. This mm. one there is. They've they've used really interesting wood here. I guarantee it, mm. um, which makes it a, a fair bit different from mm. what we're used to. But yeah, interesting. Um, though. I'm I'm very much well. If I it. if I had to be wrong, then I guess it's good to be all the way wrong yeah. and guess the wrong um, nation. <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, you've got to start somewhere. Oh well, the streak is dead, but yeah. that only leaves us to renew the streak mm. and make it live again. And so. also broaden our expectations to include yeah. 
anything from that anywhere. That actually gives me the real jubilees. That gives me the real foreboding <laughs> that it could be just Japanese whiskey coming out of this thing. There could be yeah. Indian, American. Oh, mm. no. Probably not bourbon. I expect we won't get much full-on like, American whiskey. Well... But we'll see. I have faith that we should at least see that one coming. Mm. <laughs> if it's bourbon. Yeah. Um, but it could be single grain there too, after all we promised it on the label. True. Oh, well. Mm. A, um, a harrowing defeat here at the single <laughs> uh, malt review. But uh, at least we know. We have the information now. We and know a good to, reminder um, to read the instructions on the page yeah, yeah, before yeah. opening. Before assembling your um, mm. predilections for tasting. Yes. All right. Well, Slanger, we'll be back, back tomorrow to, mm. uh, with another danger-filled episode <laughs> of, um, of lethal... I don't know, I'm gonna try a laugh. Never mind. <laughs>